Now, when you think of a Lord Mayor, is this the image that you would expect? Probably not. This is Majid Majid. He is black, he is Muslim, and he's gone from a five-year-old Somali refugee to Lord Mayor of Sheffield at the age of just 28. And as you can see, he wants to do things a little bit differently. The Lord Mayor says things on a national level need to change to make government more representative and diverse. And that Theresa May's current stance on immigration makes stories like his more and more unlikely. I went to meet the Mayor. He's using his difference to try and make a difference. Me and my family came um, to look for a better life. We came to Sheffield when I was five years old, 1995. But we literally came to Sheffield, made Sheffield our home, and then lived here, went to school here, made friends here, just became part of Sheffield. And then went off to university, came back, and now I've just become the Lord Mayor of Sheffield. I know it's crazy, but honestly, it's so great because now I feel as if like, it's such a good, op it's a great opportunity for me to give back to the city that's given me, my family, and so many other people like me so much. Immigration is such a hot topic at the moment, and there is the sense that this country is not as welcoming anymore to refugees. Do you think that's the case? Well, this is what it is. In, in honestly, the past, since I got in, uh, came into Pulse in Wednesday. It's been absolutely amazing. There's been messages from all around the world, everyone saying congratulations, message of hope, X, Y, Z. But like, it's easy for me to stay in this kind of glow. But I also so I can't help but think of, because of this government's policies, there's so many other people like refugees that have been denied entry, asylum seekers that are constantly being deported, that because of this government's policies, stories like mine are very, very unlikely. If you were to sit down, as you are with me now, with Theresa May, what would you say to her? Treat people like people are not numbers. Because we, we need to have and show compassion to one another. It's interesting, you're doing things differently already. Uh, we've seen the portrait. That's got a lot of people talking. What did your mum make of that? <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? Like, she's like, why, why are you doing that? She didn't understand, to be honest. But I guess it's just the power of imagery, to be honest. When people saw that picture, they're like, wait a minute, is that the Lord Mayor? Because when people think of a Lord Mayor, they do have a stereotype in their head. When you look at the government, what do you think? If we just look at the cabinet, for example, that make the decision, they, they make the decisions for everybody in the country, yet they don't represent um, the people of this country. You're not what they expect from a Lord Mayor. I know, I know, I know. I'm surprised. Oh, where are you from? Sheffield. Sheffield? <laughs> yeah. People ask me, imagine who's your Lady Mayoress? Because there's like, Another lady, uh, another post called Lady Mayoress. Yeah, can we, can we just back up there? Okay. Are you using the Lord Mayor's position to find a date? Oh, God, yeah. I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> What's in the future for you? Do you have ambitions to roll your sleeves up and get down to Westminster? I have no ambitions of being an MP, but more importantly, you don't have to be an MP or a councillor or hold a fancy position to make some sort of change within your community or your society. I always feel as if, as long as I'm pushing myself, taking myself out of my comfort zone, but most importantly, feel as if, like, I'm contributing to society and those around me, I'll be happy.